talk a little bit about the process I use to create a piece of digital art. There's a million ways to do digital art. I'm not saying mine's the best way, it's just the way that I've come up with and it's simple and I can do it really fast. I'm I'm not looking to to work on something for days. I just I just want to do something fast, have some fun and move on to the next thing and so what I usually do, the way I set a Photoshop document up is I will uh, I work on four layers. The bottom layer uh, over in your layers palette would just be some sort of a neutral tone of some sort. I don't like to work on white. That seems to be really distracting to me and uh, it just it's it's better for me and I think better in general if you just have some sort of value underneath what you're working on. It's just going to help you a little bit. Uh, so I, um, I have a tone down on the bottom and I lock that layer away so I don't you know that way I can go change it if I need to or something later. Uh, on top of that I have three layers. I have my um, uh, my pencil drawing, which I've got set on multiply mode. It needs to be set on multiply mode so you can see through it. Um, underneath my pencil drawing, which is on multiply mode, I have a layer that I can paint on underneath, and then I put a layer over the top of my pencil. So basically what we have here is I've got my pencil drawing, a layer underneath to work on, and a layer over the top to, to work on. And that's what I do. I will block in color underneath the drawing really quickly and finish the thing out on the layer on top. Now, when I'm all done, I'll flatten the entire image and I will go in and uh, with an eraser, knock the image out, and knock all the background stuff out. And what that'll do is leave me with a, uh, an image that I can move around and do things with. Now, I'm doing that right now, and it looks like I'm painting yellow in, but I'm actually not. Uh, I have put a, a yellow layer underneath so I can kind of see more clearly. So actually, I'm erasing everything out, and we can see the yellow layer that's underneath my image as I do that. And once I get that done, then I can put a color underneath it, change things, put a graphic on it, um, and do all kinds of stuff with it because I've got a freestanding image that I can do something with. That's kind of my process. And I hope you enjoyed this little video.